EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Just a short time ago, smoke from the pyrotechnics filled the dome as the Colts made their way out of the locker room. We're set for football as the Colts get set to match up with Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks. DJ Reed. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. At their own 23-yard line. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. To throw is Wilson. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Two yards on well, the any field. lane that might have been open there was closed there. pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. From the 40 now on second down, Wilson. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. The last completion actually lost a yard, so now they'll need to convert on third down. Now it's Wilson. And he's got Lockett. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Tyler Lockett, 61 yards. And the Seahawks have taken a first quarter lead. Well, that's how they envisioned it, get the football to start the game and score. And I don't know if that was scripted, was it an audible, or was it just a play call that they had in their pocket? No matter what, they had the right call on against the right defense, and they end up in the end zone. Makes the Extra point up and seven. through by Myers, Nothing. and that makes the score 7-0. Jason. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Rodgers on the return. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. At their own 24-yard line. and the Colts going to come up first and 10 at their own 24. Off play action, he'll throw to start the drive. That's into the hands of Pascal. And he's brought down after a very nice game. A good pick up there, 26 yards. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around to make a play on the football. 
Rivers now from the 50. He'll find Hines out of the backfield. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. They'll contain him to just four, second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Looking to throw again on second down. Rivers, it's complete here to T.Y. Hilton. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 32-yard line. Give them 14 on that one and a first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now the first carry from Marlon Mack. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Rivers. Caught left side by Hilton. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. How about the start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, he's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script. However, they drew it up for this first drive, going to plan so far. Taken in by the tight end, Doyle. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. That catch, good for only a couple. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Seven Colts nothing. Ball at the nine on second and eight. Rivers hands this one to Mack, and he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. Marlon Mack, the ball. Now that's a mound of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. And he's got his target. It's caught for a Colts touchdown. Michael Pittman there to make the grab. And the Colts are an extra point away from tying up this football game. And that drive we just saw that culminated in a touchdown, exactly what many offenses are looking for. Sustained ones that can impose their will on the other team. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. The game at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line for the same result, but he opted for the touchback. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field, ready for their second drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, 
It's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. They'll start out on the ground with Carson. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, give him 14. We often give credit to the O-line. They're two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. This is Carson. Wilson. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. At the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to Huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. On second down now, it's Carson. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That one good for 26 and a first down. Well, what made that toss out to the right so successful? Because it looked pretty easy. A belief in the play. An absolute execution by all 11 on the offensive side of the ball. Everyone took care of their assignment. But the reason they did so, every time that play is called, they think it's going to go for big yardage. It's their staple play, and they love to run it. Wilson's throw caught by Metcalf. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. This one into the hands of Metcalf. And he is out of bounds, looks like right at the 15. They'll contain him to just four, second down. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season, they got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. Second down, it's Carson. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine. Chris Carson. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. The running game's played a huge part in getting them down to this point on the field. I say stay with it. Keep pounding the football. Keep driving. Keep grinding. Yeah, even down in the red zone, keep going for it. No doubt about it. Dance with what brought you. Steps away to his left, and he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. A nine-yard touchdown run, and the Seahawks have taken the lead. He didn't originally want to run, but he didn't see anything in the passing game, so he scrambled, and wouldn't you know it, he scores a touchdown anyway. It's awfully nice to have a quarterback who can make things happen with his legs. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Makes the score Seahawks 14, Colts 7. After the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. 
do you maybe mix it up now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit i would anticipate the defense making some changes but i wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction they're doing so well throwing the ball yeah well, I'm i wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so now this is hilton on the receiving end and they work this well up field across the 45. a good pick up there 21 yards was a pretty route right there because it's all about finding a window on a route like that. He lined up on his left, ran the deep in route over the middle, and the ball was right where it needed to be. Really good trust between quarterback and receiver. Really good completion. Looking deep for Hilton. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. T.Y. Hilton, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Similar to a shooter in basketball just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now, we had a guy who made the catch. They tried to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. On second down, Rivers again. Now a hit, and Rivers lost the football. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Now a look at Smith. Not sure exactly what happened, but he's still down. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Following the fumble recovery, it's Wilson. They'll run the screen with Carson. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Second down and three. From the gun, it's Wilson. That's complete into the hands of Carson. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. Russell Wilson with two first-half touchdown passes. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself open for an easy touchdown. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to Makes the score Seahawks 21, Colts 7. Jason Myers. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Rodgers on the return. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Indy set to go on offense once more. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go-around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those. And the ball is knocked out, and the Seahawks have picked it up. Rivers pass complete. 
Fumble. Whenever I see a team turn it over on back-to-back -back drives, fumbles on their last two, I know one person's blood pressure who is starting to rise, and that's the head coach. Absolutely. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. And a terrific return as he'll take it up past the 35. Good starting field position for the Colts as they have it first and 10 at their own 37. So after that sequence, if we're watching both teams' defenses, didn't it feel like a revolving door? One's on, they think they're off for a while. The other has to come on, they think they're on for a while. Then they're off, here comes the other one. Just kept turning the ball over. They've got to cut that out. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. A new life now following the late turnover. Maybe a chance for points here before the break. Yeah, pretty nice situation they find themselves in because they're really maybe one completion away from giving their kicker a shot. And that gives them a chance to get some points up on the board. Throwing again on second down. Rivers, that's complete to Hines out of the backfield. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. It'll be a nickel look here for the Seahawks on third down. A play fake to Mack. Now Rivers. He'll take a shot downfield for Pittman. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. Certainly no lack of aggressiveness here. They were hoping for the home run play to get them six points. They're hoping for a catch, maybe a call. But they figure they can at least get into field goal range with a completion. Out is Rigoberto Sanchez on fourth down to punt this thing. The Seahawks have David Moore back deep. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And last time, the fumble, the turnover. Now they still have the lead, but I don't think coaches care. The turnovers will bother them no matter what the scoreboard says. But that's the relief that you still have the lead, but coaches look at what if and what it should be turning the ball over when they've got a chance to score more points and increase the lead, that's what's going to affect them. And they're also thinking to future weeks, maybe when the game's closer, right? No doubt about it. You want to clean up everything. Let's just be honest about it. They want everything to be perfect at all times. They don't want to give up anything that's going to hurt their team. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Seahawks with the advantage, and they get the football first as the second half is underway. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Out come the Colts. They'll have it first here to start quarter number three. 27-yard line. Rivers going to bring the Colts up first and 10 at their own 27. They'll throw from the gun. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Another attempt, another incompletion, and when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long gain or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points, and the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. The screen was executed and completed, but where's the worry on the play? How many times is a quarterback going to get hit? Because offensive linemen have to do an acting job of making sure it looks like they're whiffing on blocks. But you got to slow them down a little bit, because if you don't, that's a lot of big guys coming at your quarterback in a big, fast way. And boy, he can get hurt. On third down, Rivers. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And they'll get him down at the 34, and he's going to be short of the first by a few yards. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up four. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up, keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. Sanchez on to punt here as he sends this one away. 
Yeah, call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Now we'll see what the Seahawks offense has in store with their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. And how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude <laughs> by scoring some points and to get a little more cushion and he'll get this up to the 34 yard line it's a give him 10 yards there and about by the nose of the football he's going to have a first down from the shotgun wilson he finds his man the tight end olsen and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. On second and 11 now, Wilson and Olsen over the middle. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And caught left side, Olsen. Back-to-back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Now it's Carson. Tackle made by Grover Stewart. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball in this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. From the 38, Wilson. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Tyler Lockett was the target there. And it'll bring up third down. Defensively, celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now, and that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. On third down, Wilson. Left side complete to Lockett. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. A Seahawk first down as Wilson finds Lockett. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode Really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. That one whistled against a big right tackle. You'd think being able to fire out and block, it'd be a lot easier to not commit a holding penalty. But it's tough to keep those guys right in front, isn't it? So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. 
To throw again is Wilson. Quick slant caught by Moore. Wilson's pass. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. Brings up second down at the Colts' 18-yard line. is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Draw play. This is Carson. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Grant, that's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to step to make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. On third down, Wilson. And he finds a man. It's Olsen. And the Seahawks are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down, went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. And this will be caught by Metcalf for a Seahawk touchdown. DK Metcalf. Make it a for Russell Wilson, three touchdown passes now. Yeah, the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one <laughs> ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning, right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's Jason a tiebreaker that comes into play later? Point. The extra point now coming from Myers. He knocks it through. It's 28-7. Makes the score Seahawks 28, Colts 7. Jason. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Colts set to take over here offensively. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> go to so something well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit some. Now a hit, and Rivers lost the football, and the Seahawks have recovered. Jaron Reed. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic what we've seen all of them, isn't it? Down, and down this big in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd quarter. say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. And a really good show of force there as he gets through for four tough yards. It'd be hard to say that a defense wouldn't be ready for a first down run. When you can gain that kind of yardage against a defense that's really kind of geared to stop that play, your confidence has to rise, and now you've actually opened up your playbook. If you want to throw the ball now for play action, you're good to go. To throw on second and six. Wilson looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Will Disley, the intended receiver, and it's third down. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. 
and somehow incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Third down is a down. Both sides know they absolutely have to win. And the name of the game for the defense is pressure on the quarterback. But pressure on the quarterback with contact, that's how you end up winning it. So on fourth down, here's Jason Myers for the Seahawk field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And Myers able to knock it through. And that will extend the lead out to 24. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points. But this widens it out, as you said. And now it's all about ball control, isn't it? Myers now converted on the field goal try. Now he's on to kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Now the Colts offense gets ready to head back on the field. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though? When they only gave up the field goal, and they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive, a little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think the coach will be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punch in the end zone without turning it over. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Mike 50, Mike 50. That's right. To throw again, Rivers. On the right side, it's Hilton with a catch. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. You got the big lead defensively. Not willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. The Colts on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and seven. Pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawk defense. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. He's going to air one out. And this is going to be incomplete. The Colts unable to convert here on fourth down. And the Seahawks, they'll get the football back in outstanding field position. Start out here with the option left. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Behind the chain, second and 12. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll get it down inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. And he's able to get more than half of what they needed. That brings up a third and five. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, 
this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And the Seahawks are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Partner, I have to tell you, just one word keeps coming to mind from watching them this afternoon, and that's impressive. They have been impressive from the opening kickoff, and they haven't let up here even into the fourth quarter. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. So the victory here for Seattle. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Indy.